So we're off on a road trip in this. First, I need to fill the water tank up, which is in here. Fill it till it overflows, so uh, we'll see how that goes. So the plan's to head up to Scotland, um, we're going up to Ben Nevis and then over to the Isle of Mull on Saturday. Um, we'll come back Sunday night, so it'll just be a really quick weekend trip, but lockdown's starting to ease a bit more and uh, I thought we'd make the most of it. I think we're ready to go. Meg's going to be working on the journey up, I'll be driving. Jack's going to be uh, my uh, co-pilot for the drive up and uh, yeah I think it's time to hit the road. So a big thank you to Jepson's Motorhome Hire Company for allowing us to take one of their vans for the weekend and I've put their link in the description if you wanted to book a motorhome for yourselves. Just found the most important cupboard in the motorhome. Snacks. I've got my co-pilot but we've forgotten towels and Meg's had to uh, run back up to the house to get some. Got to the side of Lot Lomond, been about three hour drive, four hour drive, something like that. Meg's just been working in the back, managed to get a couple of shots on the way up. Just parked over, let Jack have a wee, and we'll uh, carry on up to uh, Glen Nevis where we're staying tonight, which we've just booked on the way up, so yeah, it should be good. Stretch the legs. Was, uh, we're about 45 minutes away from Glen Nevis now. Nearly there, aren't we? <laughs> we're nearly there. So just let let Jack have a little walk around and uh, just enjoy being up in uh, up in Glencoe, up in the island. It's supposed to rain tomorrow morning, but uh, we'll see. It's, uh, it's quite hard to predict sometimes up here. So. Uh, See where we get to. I've just made it to camp. Yeah. Got a beer. Really need a beer. Rain's started to come in a bit annoying, so we're gonna have tapas instead of the barbecue tonight. But uh, we're. Uh, at the foot of the Nevis range in the Nevis van. Pretty cool. I think we're going to call it a night. It's just started raining again. We've just taken Jack for a little walk and but yeah, looking forward to showing you guys whereabouts we are for day two. It's uh, hopefully going to dry off about 10 o'clock in the morning so I'll get a bit of work done and then uh, yeah, crack on with the day. So I've just finished up a little bit of work, um, just had a bit of editing and thought we'd kind of wait for the rain to uh, pass a little bit, um, which it is clearing up now quite nicely. You can start to see the top of the Nevis range just out the side of the camp here. Um, so the plan is now to head up to Ben Nevis. Um, I'm going to do like a quite a low level walk just in the trees so it might be a bit more sheltered and I think Jack's ready for a, ready for a bit of a walk to stretch his legs. And, and I think the plan is to head over to the Isle of Mole, which should be pretty cool. Cross on the car ferry and then try and find a uh, place to stop for tonight. I think we're going to wild camp, so maybe like a beach 
something like that. Yeah, hopefully once this dries up, it'll be a, a lovely day up in Scotland. Heading across the mall. It's about five to four now. Last phase at six. So we need to get a move on, but uh, just wanted to stop and uh, get a couple shots around here because uh, it's pretty cool. Day three, just about to make some breakfast and uh, get ready for the day. Looks like the rain's cleared. It's beautiful blue sky outside. So Meg's just taking Jack for a little walk. I'm gonna make some breakfast. drone mission <laughs> nearly done my bloody finger off the wind just caught the propellers then and um, but yeah just a little little scratch would be yeah uh, it should be all right shots are cool though so it's, it was all worth it that was a pretty cool drive heading north um up the coast so we've just got to a little place called Calgary which has got a famous white sand beach apparently so we're gonna stretch our legs for a minute, give Jack a little run round, and then it's time to get some fish and chips. So we've just arrived at a place called Tobermory, which is on the north coast. Just managed to find a little parking space. But apparently, this place is where they filmed Balamori. Meg's freaking out. I can't remember watching it, but uh, yeah, Balamori. So about 20 minutes early to the ferry. Just thought we'd give Jackson a little walk and uh, stretch his legs. It's about what? <laughs> She's laughing at me. It's about 45 minutes on the ferry, and then about a six-hour drive after that. So. Yeah, just thought we'd stretch our legs a minute and digest that fish and chips. It's big. So, uh, yeah, I'll just have a little walk in the mountains. And, uh, yeah, go and get the ferry. Stop for a coffee. It's about two and a half hours left, but we're nearly home. What was your favourite bit? Um, the camp camp spot last night. Yeah, last night's camp spot. That cool. was the best bit. That was pretty cool. But I think Jackson's ready for home. He's missed his sofa. <laughs> but, uh, 
yeah, no, it was a really fun weekend. So a big thank you to Ryan at uh, Jetsons Motorhome Hire for uh, letting us take the van for the weekend. I'll leave all his website and Instagram and stuff down in the description below. And until the next adventure, see you in a bit.